Hey everyone, it's Eva McJono. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot Warped. Last time, we pretty well completed the third, uh, second warp room. Uh, we have 10 crystals currently, 2 power ups, 11 gems, and 10 relics. Uh, 3 platinum and 7 gold. So, after a very good start in this LP so far. This video, we're going to take on dynamites. There are two gems we can get in this level, and we're going to get them both now because we actually need the yellow gem to get them both. So, we got that. Where? Haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I sweat. All right, pal. Uh, that was entropy. Yeah, it sounds like the word entropy. So, um, we, like I was saying, well, he is the th sorry. He is the third boss of this uh, of this warp room, or the boss of this warp room, I should say. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, you need the yellow gem before you come into this level if you want to get uh, all of if you want to get the box gem and the the, uh, the skull root gem or death root or secret passage or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, and this guess what? This level does require some backtracking in some kind of sense. So I suggest preparing yourself for that. But anyway, we can go on this here now that we have the yellow gem from Hang Em High. That's why I suggest to get in the relics on the way so that we can go, you can get the secret passage gem and the box gem at the same time in this level. Just the way it works. And I like I said, I'm, I'm giving you guys like a the the most efficient way of playing this game. That's what I'm trying to give you. So just as a uh, a heads up before the actual game is released in a couple of weeks. And I'm assuming everything will be exactly the same, so this will, assumingly, uh, will be the most efficient way to complete that. So yeah, just... that... <laughs> the hell, why did I do that? Like, that was, that was awful. Um, yeah, that wasn't very efficient, but like I said, I'm trying to, trying to give you guys the most efficient way to complete this game. It's... Not, it probably isn't the most perfectly efficient way, but it is quite an efficient way. And it's basically the same way I did Crash Bandicoot 2, like that was an efficient way, I did Crash Bandicoot 1 a very efficient way. Uh, almost kind of in a speedrun kind of sense, like when I play these games, like, particularly for Let's Plays, uh, if I'm doing it in a speedrun, this is basically, or like a 100% speedrun, this is basically the way or the order that I'll do things in. Um, if I can help it, that is. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's it's pretty good, I guess. All right, blow up. Nah, we couldn't get it from there, no way. <laughs> All right, go. Coming up towards the end of this secret passage. Right, and just go that. There is a um a secret passage in here later on in the game that we're gonna to want to come into, but I'm not gonna do those just yet. We're gonna do this after we beat the the main part of the game, or at least close to it, I guess. Oh it was very close. Alright, there is our gem. There is a nitro detonator box. If you jump over here though, there's a little thing I'll show you guys you can do. You can Oh what the hell? Jump up here, and there are some lives waiting for you. Just in case you wanted to... Oh, come on. Crash, really? Why don't you double jump? There we go. That just in case you wanted to get some lives, there are five lives there that you can get. Alright, this thing will drop us off back here, but we're going to have to backtrack from here, so... Yeah, fun times, guys. Fun times. Unfortunately, there are no masks in this level, so... Take it as easy as you possibly can because the last checkpoint that we got is way back in the skull root. So I don't know why I'm alternating alternating between calling it a secret passage, a death root, and a skull root. Am I like subconsciously trying to appease everyone or something like that? Like everyone calls it something different. It was oh crap. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be as easy because I don't really remember. Oh thank goodness checkpoint. Okay. All right now we can just launch ourselves back through here. Boxes here. And no, rip T Rex. He was a good boy. Oh, what? Well, there's another one here. Uh, 
Oh, whoa, crap. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. How the hell did I do that? And, okay, we're back here. Um, wow, I don't know how the hell I did that. That was some skill. Like, I don't mean to talk myself up or anything, but that was incredible. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the secret passage gem. We're halfway to get the box gem. The crystal is coming up very soon. Uh, it's kind of pointless going for the relic in this level because it's a very long level and it's very hard to get without the speedy boots. Uh, so I'm not going to even bother. Uh, I'll just wait till we get the speedy boots and we'll come back here and get the relic then. Uh, in a speed run, I probably would attempt it, but yeah, I'm not going to try it right now. There is our crystal, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I made a sound like I was like this, the, the MC for a wedding just then, but you know, whatever. Alright, bonus round, time. And, okay, we need 50 more boxes, I believe there are 20 in this bonus, 25 in this bonus round, okay. So, half of the level's boxes are left, that are left are in this bonus round. <laughs> Alright, hang on that. It's kind of a shame that most of these are... I like how the game's telling us what to do, like belly flop here. It's like, really? I didn't know that. Oh, I usually can get all three from there. Ah, oh, well. Alright, we got all 25 there. That'll take us to 98 boxes. Oh, 97. Did we not have 73? We must have had 72. Okay. Unless my math is just becoming terrible all of a sudden, which is bad because I have exams coming up. Like now would not be a good time for my exam, or for my, for my exam, for my mathematics to be awful, but you know, whatever. Anyway guys, I wasn't joking when I said Crash Bandicoot Warped is a longer game than Crash Bandicoot 2 and 1, like... We're seven minutes into this video and we're still in... Oh, can't forget that. And we just finished the first level of the video. <laughs> to be fair, it was kind of a long level though, but yeah, it's... It's a, it's a long game. Alright, that'll give us the crystal and both of the gems from Dynamite. So the only reason we need to go back in there now is to get the gold relic, or it'll probably be the platinum relic by the time we come back here. Okay, next what we're going to do is the second and final underwater level, Deep Trouble. You can get the red and clear gem at the same time in this, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. It's not a very hard thing to do, really. Arguably, I think this level is actually kind of easier than the than Deep Trouble, the first, um... Oh, no, Under Pressure, sorry, which was the first one. This one's called Deep Trouble, what the hell am I on about? Alright, there is a shark just here, so let's kill him. Uh, I've got a, a mine, a mine, a mine just there. There is a box under the coral there, we're going to speed into here to speed things up a little bit. And we're going to dodge this by going straight down there. Dodge that mine there, and there's an eel there for some reason that box and whoa, whoa what the hell is happening and our first checkpoint all right these things can and will kill you they are like strange whirlpools I don't know what they're for what is going on all right there we go I don't even know what they're supposed to be but obviously they're supposed to be whirlpools but you know whatever uh, like why are they here is what I is kind of what I mean <laughs> double sharks oh no the checkpoint was right there oh. <laughs> Oh, that is such a killer when that happens. Oh, man. Why? Why is this happening to me? Why do I keep going backwards like that? What is wrong with this controller all of a sudden? Oh, no! One death always follows up with the second death. That is a problem that I have. Like, if I die once, I usually die twice. Okay, make that three times. What the hell? What? <laughs> That's twice to the shape shark. And that makes four deaths. So I guess one death becomes four deaths. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Are you... Six deaths. So one death becomes six. And I literally just finished saying, oh, this level's not as hard as the first one. Like, clearly I was wrong, like, according to my freaking abilities, this is, this is a lot harder. If, if I was playing this without commentary, 
and didn't explain the situation, and people would think that I'm some kind of noob. And what pissed me off most is that the first death was so close to that checkpoint. And the crystal. Like, jeez, man. What, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, we've got to come back down here later. So, kill all the enemies that you can see. Because we've got to come back here. And I'm going to kill myself for a seventh time. Why is this game doing this to me? It's because I said this level's easy, isn't it? Like, whenever I say a level's easy, this is exactly what happens. Really? Right, there's an eel here. I'm going to kill you. Right, I'll sneak through there. There's a puffer fish here behind this whirlpool. There's a checkpoint here, though, so that's okay. Alright, so, last leg of this level. We've got to go back to the area where we just swam up, by the way. I'm going to kill both these puffer fishes. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Now try to keep your your puffer, your mechanical fish as long as you can, because there are some coral boxes up coming up ahead. There are some nitros here as well that you might want to blow up. Um, so the, wow, I am just missing everything. What the hell is this? Okay, puffer fish here. You're gonna want to kill this thing because it's very very annoying. It's a very annoying fish. It gets in the way like that. Get this think here and then we go backwards from here. Do not enter the warp room. Alright, we know nothing can kill us except for that thing and uh, if we hit that, it would be pretty unlucky. Oh! Wow, well at least I got to the end here. <laughs> Alright, let's head down here. And there's a TNT that'll have appeared here. That's what we would have lit up. Okay. And thank goodness there is a checkpoint here. Oh crap! I heard there's nitros too, but... Let's just go straight down. Okay, there we go. There are a lot of nitros here. It's actually quite scary. <laughs> Alright, let's spin you away. Now, one of those boxes won't blow up, so we're going to hang around. I don't know how that happens, because there are three TNTs there, so naturally they should blow, both blow up, or all blow up, I should say, but apparently not. There is a clear gem, and here is our red gem. Nearly missed it, but there we go. Alright, well we've got a lot done this video, we've got two crystals and four gems, so we're going to end the video here, next time on Crash Bandicoot Warped, uh, we'll continue with the third warp room, alright, see you guys, then.